Man, you guys really need to try this. It smells so good. Doesn't it? Does that smell good or what? Hi, my name is Rusty Zipper. Today I'm gonna to try out the Adams Polishes Clay Bar Kit. Before I begin, I wanna know in the comments, what do you guys use? Have you ever tried this Adams Polish Clay Bar Kit before? Do you prefer Meguiar's or do you have your own special brand that you use? Leave it in the comments. I'd like to know what works for you, if you like it or don't like it, and if you've ever tried this out before. I've never used this product before, but I have used the Adams shampoo and the ceramic coating, and it's great stuff. So I figured what better car to try this out on than the C7R. I'm getting ready to take the C7R down to Shane at InShane Designs. He's gonna put a wrap on it. By me doing the clay bar, it saves him a step, saves him time, and that'll save me money. He's very busy right now, so this is one less thing that he's gotta worry about. So you'll see some footage of me clay barring the car, and I think you'll agree, it's a great product. It works very well. So far I really like it. I like the geo impression tool. So that creates little pockets in the clay so that it's just not one slab of flat clay like I normally get. So this gives it better opportunity to pick up. So far I've done the hood piece. I haven't done the fenders, but I can tell there's contaminants just by running the clay bar. You can run your, your hands with like a Ziploc bag. You can feel the difference between the contaminated pieces and the, where the clay bars remove those contaminants from the clear coat. Very easy to use, doesn't dry very quickly, smells wonderful. You just give it a quick spray and just work a small panel at a time. You can use it with the geo impression tool on the backside to give you something to hang on to, which is nice because you certainly don't want to drop this on the floor and it can get slippery with the detail spray. And I can just hear it picking up the contaminants. It sounds very rough from everything that's been embedded in the clear coat. You just go real smooth. By apply very minimum down pressure because you want to pick up whatever contaminants are there, but you don't want to gouge those back into the clear coat. Oh, you can hear it down here. You can hear all the contaminants that are in that paint. Can you guys hear that? Sounds like sandpaper. Then once you go over it once, it's smooth. You can feel it just glides so much easier. So right now it's so buttery smooth over here. And you can see I'm not doing this on the dry piece. can hear the clay catching on all that contaminant that's in the clear coat. So that's what we're doing. We're trying to get rid of all those contaminants that are in that clear coat to get a nice smooth surface. Just using very minimal pressure. See, I flipped it over. The sides to side with the geo impression tool. You see all the dirt and grime. That's just from this piece here and down. 
here and that's it. So what I like to do is use the geo-impression side, get the high build stuff, get your first layer off, and then go over to the flat side and basically just go over it one last time just to make sure you've got everything. And I do one or two panels working in the small area that way it doesn't dry up on you. And then you smush up the clay bar and put it back on the geo-impression tool. This is a beautiful product. So it's gonna get sprayed down with alcohol and then cleared off that. That way they, there's absolutely nothing that's gonna interfere with the clear coat and the wrap. You can see there's no rock chips, there's no dings, there's no dents, and the car is 13,000 miles on it. There is one little scratch right here. You can see where it's got like a little blemish. That they must have fixed up before I bought it. Probably was a mechanic or somebody was working on the car and door dinged it or something happened and they just used a little touch up paint. But really you would never notice that just if you catch it right at the right angle and you can see the reflection. But if you're looking face on to it, you would not notice it. Unless you get up about that close. That's the only flaw that I've seen on this car after 13,000 miles of driving. All right, so what did you guys think of the Adams Visco Clay Kit? You think the results are good? I was very impressed. I've used the Meguiar's Clay Kit before and had very good success with that. But I will tell you, the Geo Impression tool that they supplied is amazing. The way it spreads the clay out and you can mold it around there and it gives you the ridges to pick up the extra contaminants. It's an awesome thing. And I flip it over use the smooth side to get a final rub on it. Wonderful. I don't think I've ever used such a nice product. By far the best clay kit I've ever used. And I'll tell you one thing about this detailing spray. You can look, it was brand new and I've used almost the entire bottle. There's just a little bit there in the bottom. There's two reasons for it. One, it worked phenomenal. Two, it smelled phenomenal. I couldn't help but spray it. It just smells so good when you're spraying it. I, I, I didn't need as much as I was using but I didn't care and it worked extremely well. I've used the Meguiar's in the past, but I found it evaporates too quick. Whereas this Adams, it's great. It lasted, I never had to worry about it drying off too quick. I did just a little spritz to bring it back to full coverage and the smell is amazing. I, this is a beautiful smell. I don't know what, what it is they, they put in there to make it smell so good, but I have no problem buying a whole bottle to do a car. I know it's very wasteful. Uh, I'll show you the clay bar, what the contaminants it picked up, how dirty it is after one. And the car wasn't that bad. So you can see it's a little darker than it was, but it's not too bad. They say you can get up to 30 uses out of this. You can do 30 different vehicles. I think that's a bit much. I don't, I, I don't think I would do more than three or four cars with it, depending on how bad the cars were. Uh, I try and do my vehicles every other year, rotate through them, do one or two a year, and get them done every couple years. That way they don't get too far behind. But this car wasn't bad. The worst part was on the, on the roof panels and on the back panel, the trunk piece. A lot of contaminants on there. And I'll show you guys just how well it turned out. Now there's...
So the next step is to spray it down with an alcohol solution and wipe it down with a clean rag. That's gonna remove any of the contaminants left from the detailing spray and the clay bar. And that way, there's nothing to interfere between the wrap material and the clear coat. So we have a good coverage. Very critical around the door seals and in the hood panels. That was the hardest part to get to and that's the most important. That's where if you're gonna have it peel off, that's where it's gonna be is on those creases and on the edges. You tell me, what do you think? What are your thoughts? Here, give it a try again. Isn't that good? Oh, it smells so wonderful. I'm telling you, this stuff is amazing. Very happy with it. I think I'm gonna drink this instead of eating those laundry pods. Oh yeah, it tastes delicious.